Senator Tory Westrom representing District 12, uh, Western and Central Minnesota here in the State Senate. Rural broadband is a very important issue, a key issue in uh, our state. Uh, we've done a great job of helping uh, match uh, grants, 50% grants to uh, rural areas that need rural broadband and our internet providers have done a great job of continuing to build out the state with this incentive and uh, we w had a hearing this week in the Ag, Rural Development and Housing Finance Committee to continue uh, focusing and getting reports back of how this continues to uh, build out areas that are missing or needing faster broadband. Uh, but the proposal this year would be another $30 million investment into rural broadband. Uh, we are hopeful that at least we can find some additional dollars towards this great program that is really important for economic development in rural Minnesota. We continue to hear story after story from small towns that uh, really find this beneficial to their area and the residents in rural townships or farmers that are able to run their business because rural broadband has been brought into their area uh, because of these grants that are matching for the installation of rural broadband. One-time installation, much like electricity was brought to our rural areas 80 and 100 years ago, rural broadband is like the electricity of today and Minnesota's leading the way with the rural broadband program that I continue to support and we want to continue to do what we can to help make sure rural broadband is available across our state. Uh, it's encouraging because the rural Office of Rural Broadband came in uh, with their update and uh, we're down to about less than 8% of the state that needs to be built out and that has shrunk over the last few years and additional proof that these one-time dollars really go a long ways in helping our rural economy and the economic opportunity rural broadband means to rural residents in Minnesota.